Okay, I think we got the thumbnail. She actually did hurt her leg, but we'll get back to that. What I mean by surviving is feeling like you're only doing what is necessary to maintain where you're at and not getting any further towards your goals. First, I should explain why I went into survival mode. A few months back, I found out that one of my fuel injectors wasn't working and might need to be replaced. I ended up taking out all my fuel injectors and getting them tested and found out that not just one, but two needed to be replaced. And they're pretty expensive, around 350 bucks a piece. Then one night I woke up at 3 a.m. and the van was filled with smoke. My closet had caught on fire from this electrical thing that I had just installed. Fortunately, I put out the fire real quick with the fire extinguisher I had but all of my jackets were burned in the fire. I was really lucky to wake up uh, because I didn't have a smoke detector. I ended up buying a smoke detector the next day and installing it right here. That didn't really set me back too much financially, but it did kind of shake me up. Easily the biggest setback is when Skye hurt her leg. We were at the dog park, she was running around having a good time when out of nowhere this dog twice her size collided with her. She let out this huge yelp and everyone in the dog park <laughs> turned towards her. Um, it was probably the scariest sound I've heard her make. I ended up taking her to the vet and her uh, x-rays showed that she broke her radius and ulna. Her bones actually healed by now, that was a couple months ago. Um, now we're dealing with an ulcer on her elbow. So I'm changing the bandage every few days and taking her into the vet every week until it's healed. Yeah. You also have a wart on your tongue, which is gross. Uh, Skye is super bummed because she doesn't get to move or run or play with other dogs right now. It also means I don't get to take her on hikes or really go anywhere. She's become a real big money pit. Yeah, just throwing money at you right now. It's okay, you're worth it. To help with some of these unexpected costs, I started driving for Lyft again. Not in the van, obviously, but in the Lyft rental program, which by the way, I think anyone who's in a creative field or working freelance should look at Lyft. It's been awesome for me to kind of fill in the gaps and be able to drive and earn money when I need to or when I want to. For me, thriving is making more videos, going on hikes, traveling more, not having Sky be injured, and just really being grateful for each day. I wanna give a special thanks to my buddy Brandon, who's been letting me basically crash in his driveway for the last few months. It's been great for Sky to heal and has been helpful as I shuffle two vehicles. I'm also just grateful to all the friends and family that have been checking in on Sky. And I'm grateful to you, the viewer. We just passed 2,600 subscribers, which feels like a pretty big milestone. I've been putting the final touches on this van and I think it's time to sell it. My plan is to buy another van and travel while I build it out. But in the meantime, I wanna make some videos that you'll find helpful. I have lots of videos planned, but for my next video, if you could help me choose between 
buying an American van, Ford or Chevy, or buying a van to convert for under $5,000. I appreciate any feedback you give me in the comments or with a like or a dislike. Um, and thank you for, as always, for watching these videos. We'll see you next time.